heard God say that today's service is unorthodox. Come on up. Unorthodox. So we thank God Amen. for moving unorthodox on, move, 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 move. today. Yes. And Father, I just thank you. Thank you, Father. I gave way to you this morning, Holy Ghost. Yes. I say, have Father, your way moved by your spirit. None of me and all of you. God, you give me this word for this time, for this season. And I trust that the people that is hearing this word will receive it with a glad heart. And not just receive it, but walk in it. In the name of Jesus. Hide me behind your cross. And move, God. Move by your spirit. I thank God for our pastors and for this opportunity. I count it an honor and a privilege. I never take it for granted to stand here before God's people. And today my topic is, where is your faith in God? You're next in life for a miracle. <laughs> and God so confirmed his word to me this morning when Minister Sharon was praying. She was going all down my sermon. I said, God, thank you for confirming to me because I was like, am I on the right track here? I wanted to really know if I was in the will of God and what he wanted to be said. But I thank God he confirmed it. He confirmed it. And speaking about unorthodox, I'm about to do something right now. And I ask pastor to please bear with me. I want everyone from right here to the third row to move. Oh my God. Oh my God, move to the back. But you see, this is exactly it. Everyone from right here to the third row, move. Move to another seat. Jesus. To the back, to the back, to the back, to the back, to the back. To the back. Oh my God, wherever, but not in the first three rows. And that right there, God gave me that as an example. He gave it to me an example, and he, I, I, I wrestled with God about using this as an example. I said, God, you will make the people them think I'm crazy. You will make the people them want to know what am I doing. But he said, that's the problem right there. When he tell us to do something, we don't do it. We don't trust this word because it seems crazy, because it seems weird, because it don't seem the same old, same old way. So we don't do what he said to do. So now that you have moved, who have moved, if you really want to see a miracle in your life today, come to the first three rows. So he said those are the people that desperate for a miracle. Those are the people that desperate for a miracle. And because you are desperate for a miracle, he will show up today in your life. It's up to you to believe it and to receive it. But he's going to show up. He may not show up right now, but he's going to show up. Now let me tell you something about this right here. As I was saying before, and I struggled with it. And I struggled with it. Then I heard, heard God say that that right there is the issue. He said the problem is that the people don't trust my word. Mm. My God, we got to trust in God. We got to trust in God's word. Where is your faith in God? Where is your faith? The text is taken from Genesis 18, from verse 9 to 15. See, I move by who move and who we move. I know God is ministering to who needed today. He said, in the word, where is Sarah your wife? And he said, they're in the tent. He said, I will surely return to you at this time next year. 
And behold, Sarah, your wife, will have a son. And Sarah was listening at the tent door, which was behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were old, well advanced in age. She was past the age of childbearing. So Sarah laughed to herself when she heard the Lord's word, saying, After I have become old, shall I have pleasure and delight, my Lord, being as old? And the Lord asked Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh to herself, saying, Shall I really give birth to a child when I am so old? Is anything too difficult or too wonderful for the Lord at the appointed time when the season for her delivery comes I will return to you and Sarah will have a son then Sarah denied it saying I did not laugh because she was afraid and he the Lord said no but you did laugh now we're going back a little bit to chapter 15 when God promised Abram. At that point, his name wasn't changed and her name wasn't changed. So she, he was Abram and she was Sarai. So God promised Abram a son. And I'm sure that Abram told Sarai about God's promise. Yes. <laughs> Fast forward into chapter 16. Here we have Sarai trying to help God out. Ain't that like us? Oh God. God tell us something, mm -hmm. and because we don't see it right away, or it seems impossible, yeah. we try to help him out, yeah. and we try to do it for him. Oh but when we try to do it, we muck it up. Yes. Oh my God. You know why she was trying to help God? Because what is impossible with man yes, yes, yes. is possible with God. Yes. And Sarah could not believe that God <laughs> A woman of her age and her husband's age will bring forth a child. So she went and she called for the maid servant and she, she used the maid, she tried, tried, tried to use the maid servant as the surrogate for God's promise to them. <laughs> but here I tell you today, God doesn't need our help. He doesn't need our help. See, that's the beauty of a miracle. Uh -huh. A miracle is a highly yes. improbable or extraordinary event, uh -huh. development, or accomplishment that brings very welcome consequences. Yes, yes. It is a surprising Surprise. and welcome event yes, that is not explicable by natural or scientific laws and is therefore <laughs> considered to be the work of a divine Agency. Yes. Come on now, come on. Who yes. is that agency? Who? Oh, Do you trust mm. that divine agency? Mm. Uh, uh. So now we know the confusion that took place with Sarai. Uh -huh. Think she knew best. Uh -huh. And what you know the Holy Ghost showed me something in this when I was uh -huh. looking at it that was just mm -hmm. I say just so crazy. In Genesis, maybe one, two. Here we had Adam and Eve. Uh -huh. <laughs> Lord Jesus, help us men and women. Uh -huh. So Eve was seduced to go with this fruit and eat the fruit. And mm -hmm. then she went to Adam and tell Adam about the fruit. Uh -huh. My God. <laughs> and what did happen? My, my. And he listened. My God. And here we have the same madness when Abraham listened to Sarah and went to lay with Hagar. You would think he would have known from Adam. My God. But that's the power of a woman. That's the power of a woman. Use it wisely. Use it wisely. Lord help us. Pastor said, use it wisely. Pastor said, use it wisely. That's to show how much power you have, it's women. True. That's to show how much power you have. Yes. But men, they also show that you need to take your rightful place. Yes. You need to take your rightful place. Ah, mm. oh, Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. I tell you, 
And if we only listen, we would save ourselves the unnecessary pain, heartache, and stress. Jesus. Yes. But we thank God that his promises are yea and amen. And if he said it, he will do it. He will make good on it. Even if we try to help him out, he still will make good. When Sarah tried to do it, he still made good on his promise to her. He still made good. Where is your faith in God. Where is your faith? I said, Lord. Somebody really needed to hear this. Yes. This morning. Yes, Lord. Somebody needed a miracle. Yes. This morning. Yes. Somebody believe in God for something. Hallelujah. And they say, God, this thing taking too long. I got to try to help you out. Lord, really, was you? Was it you? Was it really you? Because I heard this, you know. But you see, God does tell us things, and it always seems so strange and weird. Because he's unorthodox. <laughs> He don't do things the same old, same old that's all it, the time. It, that's it, that's it, that's it. And we got to take him out the box. Yes. We got to take him out, out of the box. The box. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. While putting the sermon together, I was overcomplicating the sermon. Mm -hmm. And God said to me, mm -hmm. that's the problem. I gave you a word and you're trying to mm -hmm. make it more than I gave it to you. <laughs> my, 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 my. Mm -hmm. He said, it's the same thing that my people do. They do not believe that for them to receive the miracle, it's not complicated. It is not complicated. It's simple. It's simple. It's simple. It's simple. So look at this. He spat on a blind man's eye. And he received his sight. So where is your faith? God. And he, he did it twice. One time he take it with a clay. And next time he speaks. Where is your faith? Where? Where? Where's your faith? Who would think spit? Spit up. Of the most yuckiest thing. You want to fight somebody if they spit on you. True, true. True. Watch. Watch God spit on, hey, spit hey, on me, hey, Jesus. Hey, spit on me, Jesus. Hey, spit on me. Spit on me, Jesus. Hey, God, spit on me. Oh, God, spit on me. Spit on me. My God. Oh, Jesus. If his spit will cause a blind man to see, spit on me. I don't care. Spit. Come from the head. But you don't spit on me. <laughs> you don't spit on me. We might have a fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. But Jesus yes. spit on me. Spit. Yes, yes, yes. He called a dead man by the name of Lazarus to come forth. And he did. Yes. That's a miracle. He bid Peter to come. And he did. He walked on water. Yeah, 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 yeah. But before he could take his eyes off of Jesus. Mm. Uh -huh. Sometimes that is what happens to us. We take our eyes yeah, yeah, yeah. off the prize. Yeah. And then we get mad and frustrated. Uh -huh. That we are not seeing our miracles. Mm -hmm. But do you trust mm -hmm. Jesus? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. My God. Do you trust him enough uh -huh. that you... Mm -hmm. Are gonna believe mm -hmm. his word even when it doesn't look like anything is happening? Mm. My, 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 my. Daniel lay in a den full of lions and slept like a baby. <laughs> That's my God. <laughs> Three Hebrew Jesus, boys Jesus. thrown in the fiery furnace mm. wasn't born, sent, or even smell like folk smoke. Jesus, you. Where you. is your faith hey. in God?
And when I think and look about these miracles, I say, God, you know why you want to allow some of us to be literally, because this ain't no a figurative speaking that they were thrown in, you know. No, no, no. They were literally they thrown, thrown in. in. Mm -hmm. But some of us won't last. Because our faith ain't no way. No way. No way. For time we get just a little ways going. For the matter of fact, all we have to know is down the road, but we go in and we done dead. We say, oh no. Right. Oh yes. But we, I'm telling you, it's okay. in that era, yeah. that was mega faith. It's true, mega, mega faith. That wasn't just faith. That was mega faith. You go in an alliance there and you could sleep like a baby. Huh. My God, my God. That's faith. <laughs> he poured water that turned into wine. Uh -huh. He fed the multitude of 5,000 uh -huh. with five loaves and two fish. Uh -huh. He rained down manna uh -huh. from heaven daily for the uh -huh. children of Israel. He allowed a man called Moses to part the Red Sea so that the Israelites can escape Pharaoh. Yes, yes. Where is your faith in God? My God, my God. What is it that you expecting God to do? You keep praying about uh -huh, it. Uh -huh. You're even fasting about mm. it. And it seems like it's taking forever. My mind, my mind. Mm. See, see, see. If you need a miracle in your body, yes. Jesus yes. can do it for you. Yes, yes, yes. He healed the deaf, blind, and even raised the dead. But I will restore you to health and heal your yes, wounds, yes, yes, yes. declares the Lord. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you ladies that move because you wanted your miracle, what are you believing God for? Are you really believing that He's going to do what He said He's going to do? Yes, yes, yes. You're moving faith, and that's what God was looking at. That you re you going to listen. Don't look at me, you know, because I can't do it. I just the oracle. I just the, the more peace. Yes, yes. I just was being obedient to the Holy Spirit as Pastor been teaching on to tell the people to move because it wasn't about me it was about mm. you obeying mm. god yeah, yeah, yeah. and trusting yes. his word yes. so whatever is going on in your body ain't nothing too hard for my god he did it before he can do it again he's the same god of yesterday today forever he's no respect of a person where is your faith in god your finances are screwed up. Oh my gosh. Go look at a fish mouth. You just might yeah, find your yeah, financial yeah, yeah, breakthrough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. And all things will be given unto you. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Where is your faith in God? You know... Sometimes you don't know where your next meal is coming from. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He said, just look up. I might yes. just drop some meal from heaven. Yes. Just Mana. look up. Mana. He did it for the children Mana. of Israel. Manna was dropping from heaven. That's right. Look up. Look up, look up. He just might drop your meal my from God. heaven. My he God. prepared God. a table before me in the presence of my enemies. My <laughs> How much do you trust God's Jesus. word? Yes. You can't see your way and it seems like your enemies is about to overtake God, you. God, God. Just stretch forth your hand. Mm -hmm. He will make a way them oh, no seem way. like no way. Mm -hmm. No weapon that is formed against you will prosper. Mm -hmm. And every tongue that rise against you in judgment, my mm -hmm. God, mm -hmm. he's condemning it. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. He just might part your Red Sea. Is there turmoil and chaos in your home? He drove evil spirits out. Finally, be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God 
so that you can take your stand against the devil's scheme. For our struggles is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in heavenly realms. He also calmed a raging sea. So if you have a storm in your life, just say peace. This thing. And every chaotic situation in your life must be calm. Huh. And somebody right there, I felt the Holy Ghost right there. Somebody's going through some raging storm. But I want to remind you and to say to you peace. Peace. Peace be still. You will be kept in perfect peace, whose minds are steadfast, yes. because you trust in yes. Him. Yes, yes, yes. How desperate are you for your miracle? Are you desperate like Jacob who wrestled all night with an angel and won't let him go until he blessed him? He was so serious about what he wanted that the angel, he oh my God, he wrestled all night with that angel. He won't let that angel go. Oh my God. You know what the angel had to do? He had to shift his hip oh out of socket just so he could let him go. Are you that desperate? Are you that desperate? Mm. Sometimes you got to wrestle for your miracle. Or would you be like Hannah? who prayed and prayed and prayed until her prayer was answered, you sometimes got to stay steadfast in prayer for your miracle. Or maybe like the woman with the issue of blood that said to herself, yes, they might call me names. Yes, I'm taking a chance coming out here in this state. Yes, I might smell, but no matter the cost, I'm going to stay pressing. I'm going to stay pressing. I'm going to stay pressing. Pressing. True. Because I need my miracle. And I need it now. I need my miracle. I need, if you need your miracle, say I need my miracle. And I need it now. I need it now. Jesus, I need it now. I need it now. I don't know about you, but I need it now. Where is your faith in God? We must trust God and take God at his word. As I come to a close, I'm going to share a word that God gave me with an incident that took place. Jesus. So, I was... I was forced to catch the public transportation. So I said, well, if I'm forced to catch public transportation, I really want to catch the real public transportation, which is Vitron. I don't like these safaris. They might be going by real fast and often, but anybody who gets on them really understands. You really don't want to be here. So much crazy people. Mm -hmm. Yes, I just go put it out there. Mm -hmm. Drama, mm -hmm. all kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So I say, ah, uh -uh. not me today. I'm going to wait on the bus. Mm -hmm. So I hustle out of work. I said, because I, I, I make sure, and they, oh Jesus, I make sure to call Vitran to find out the schedule. Okay? Alright. I said, well, uh -huh. I told the people in the office, I said, they said, I catch a public transportation. I'm gone. See you. Uh -huh. I said, okay, about um, five minutes to the hour I left work. So I said, that should give me enough time mm -hmm. to get to the bus stop. Mm -hmm. So I'm on the bus stop. I met a lady there who's also waiting for a bus, a Vitron bus. Mm -hmm. And she catches a different bus than I do. So I said, did the tutu bus pass? She said, no, 
I said, how long you here? She said, I here for a while, but I know, but well, you know you still have to ask. Yes. But I know based on what they told me, uh -huh. that the bus was still there. Mm -hmm. And I was on the bus stop in time. So here comes a bus. It so happened to be her bus. Mm -hmm. So I asked the driver, I said, is Tutu bus behind? Oh, he got He said, Tutu bus behind? Mm -hmm. I said, oh, okay, good. It's now it's about five after five and he said yes behind. I said okay. okay. I seen Safari come, Safari go. <laughs> I said wait no. I am like and this like slowing up like you need a, a right I'm like no that mm, you can keep going, thank you. Because I'm determined I'm not gonna get on on the bus and the safari. So, I said, wait, I look at my watch. I said, five after that one, thing, 17 after this bus take off. I said, a next safari park, I get <laughs> 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 popular. I hear something in the back. I look back. There's a tutu box. <laughs> my God, my God. Listen, people. Mm. I cost myself. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I said, and then the Holy Spirit started to minister to me. Yeah, uh -huh. He said, the bus driver was a representative of me. He gave, he told you the bus behind, but you wasn't patient. Mm because it felt like it was too long. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You sat there, five minutes passed, 10 minutes passed, mm -hmm. and you say, oh, he ain't coming fast enough. So the next same safari, you didn't want to get on. The same stinky safari, you didn't want to get on. The same safari with the drama and the trauma, you didn't want to get on. You got on. You allow five and up to pass before, and you get on this one. Say, 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 say. I say, Lord Jesus. Help me, help me, Jesus. Help me. Hey, hold this, hold this, hold this. I say, Holy Ghost. I say, what? I'm, I still cussing myself. I said, Jesus. And then I said, okay. I said, okay, the next stop. <laughs> Jesus, 
He said, yes. You're watching your blessings go. Ah, your blessings yeah, were hey, behind hey, you. Hey, your hey, blessings hey, overtook hey. you. And you let your blessings Jesus. go past you. You let your blessings Jesus. go past you. Because yes. you didn't believe. Yes. You didn't think you would have catched it. Yes. You didn't believe yes. that the boss might have stopped. Yes. You let the yes. enemy. Yes. You let the enemy. Yes. You let the enemy. Yes. Tell you it's gonna go, it's gone, it's gone. and then you're gonna miss the tutu bus, and you're gonna miss the safari, and then you're gonna be there out of money. Can't get home, so I stay on the stinky bus. <laughs> Watching, oh god, I could have been on a nice air condition, quiet, by and bus with a little bit of people, everybody just nice and calm. And now I get on. And I have to crawl over man <laughs> who don't want to move. Come on now. And I say, Lord, hey, hey. forgive me. Jesus. Forgive me. Jesus. Forgive me. Jesus. He said you didn't trust me. That's it. You didn't trust my word. Yes. Uh -huh. He said, he said mm. that the, the bus was coming. It was coming, mm -hmm. but because it took long, yeah. you didn't believe yeah. I was still coming. <laughs> he said, my timing yeah. and hey. your timing is not the hey. same timing. If I said it, I will make call on it. If I said it, I will do it. He said to me, he said, now, look at that. Look at that. He said, it's coming. He said, he said, it's coming. But you chose. You chose to get on. You chose to do your you own thing. Your own way, your you own chose way. to go your own way. way. And I cuss him myself. But still ministering to myself. Hey. Saying, Lord, forgive me. Hey. Lord, forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Jesus. He said, he said, this is a lesson, Lord. He said, I needed to show you a lesson. He said, this is a lesson, Lord. Because my people, my people don't trust me. And here's the funniest thing. I was ministering it to my sisters. And I said, I feel like preaching. And I was on the job. And I said, oh God, I feel the Holy Ghost. I said, I feel like I could raise the dead. Holy Ghost said, don't fool around and mess around and go in the back. You might raise something. I said, but Lord... There's a seven-day-old baby in there. He said, don't go in there. Just your presence might raise the dead. <laughs> Hallelujah. I say, I feel like preaching. My sister said, careful now. You might feel like preaching. Pastor going to call you and ask her to preach. I say, I feel like preaching. I say, I feel like preaching. I say, we got to know what yes. God word said. If he said it, he will make good on it. If he said it, he will do yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. If he said it, if he said it, don't mind how long it takes. It's gonna be done. Don't mind how long it takes. He will make good on it. His timing, his timing, his timing is not like our timing. One day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years is like a day. Jesus said today, he made good on it. His promises are yay. And amen. amen. He wants us to believe. Yes. He wants us to believe. Yes, that he is able. That he's well able. He is able to do that which he has been committed to do. His word will not return void. But it will and it must accomplish that which it was set forth to do. He will make good on it, people. God is saying today, somebody been waiting. Somebody been waiting, uh -huh. but don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. Trust oh, God. Only trust it may him. not look. Only trust him. It may not even seem. Mm. Things might even go chaotic. But that's when you should know to uh -huh. hold on. Hold on and stay steadfast to the arms of the altar. God will never fail us. God will never fail us. Ah, yes, Holy Ghost. Yes, Holy Ghost. I hear the Lord saying, 
if we are falling short, let us repent. Yes, not that he's you. not going to do it, yes. but we still need to repent. We need to repent yes, for not trusting his ah, word, yes, for yes, not yes, trusting yes, when he tell us ah, something so that he's going to do it. Yes, yes, God yes, is yes. saying ah. he will do it. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. He will Jesus, do it. Help me. Help me, he will do it. He will do it. He will do it. Jesus. I say, God, I need a miracle on my job. Oh, God, I say, God, I need a miracle to turn up. I say, my God. I say, Lord, I need a miracle someplace else. It seems so chaotic. But after that word, <laughs> after that word, I put on and I trust and I dig in my heel. And I say, God, I'm not going to lose. I'm going to hold on to your word. If you said it, let's do it. You must do it. If you said it, if you said it, he will make good on it. He will make good on it. Hallelujah. Hey, hey. Hallelujah. Yes, Holy Ghost. So if someone needs prayer, they believe in God. They're holding on. They're